This will be for the con exercise, factorization with substitution. So these are the three formulas we'll be using for this exercise. Okay, if you have A minus B quantity squared, the first term will be A times A or A squared. And the last term will be negative B times negative B. So that's A positive B squared. And if you do the inner outer, the inner will be negative BA, the outer will be negative BA, and that will be negative 2BA or negative 2AB. All right, and you can certainly write this twice and use FOIL and prove this formula. Now for the A plus B squared, it's almost the same thing. The first term would be A times A or A squared. The last term would be positive B times positive B. That'd be positive B squared. And the inner outer term would be BA plus BA. That's 2BA or 2AB. Finally, A minus B times A plus B. Well, it's still almost the same thing. The first term would be A times A or A squared. The last term is negative B times positive B. That's negative B squared. And for the inner outer, you would get negative BA plus positive BA. So the inner outer term cancels in this particular case. All right, so three cases, three formulas we'll be using. All right, first question here, we can factor the expression as u plus v times u minus v, where u and v are either constant integers or single variable. What are u and v? All right, this is the same thing I just had up before, except I used lowercase a and b. It's the same thing. They want us to find u and v, and that part's multiple choice, and then they want us to actually factor the expression. So... Let's make some room here. So we said it a minute ago, instead of u and v, instead of u and b, v, I used a and b, but nevertheless, we just established u plus v times u minus v. All right, we said there's no middle term. So this will just equal u squared minus v squared. All right, so if this translates to this right here, then this much must match this right here. Okay, so this is going to be my u squared minus v squared. All right, and now all I have to do is solve for u and v. And I'll do it in a different color here. If u squared is 4x to the fourth... The way to undo something squared is to take the square root of both sides. Square root of u squared is u. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x to the 4th is x squared. All right, the minus sign matches, and v squared equals 9y to the 4th. Square root of both sides to solve for v. Square root of v squared is v, square root of 9 is 3, square root of y to the 4th is y squared. All right, so this is my u. This is my v. That will be the multiple choice, but when I factor, let me see here, when I factor, they said it's going to be in this form. All I have to do is sub in u and v. The u is 2x squared. plus the v is 3y squared, the u is 2x squared, minus the v is 3y squared. All right, so this is the answer in factored form, that's question two. And this is the multiple choice part, that's question one. But this right here 
translates to that right there. That's the factored form. All right, answer B, 2X squared and 3Y squared. All right, and then down here we have two sets of parentheses, right? That's going to be 2X squared plus 3Y squared. And then 2X squared minus 3Y squared. All right. All right, here's our expression. We can factor it as U minus V quantity squared. What are U and V? All right, U minus V quantity squared. We said this at the beginning, except I used A and B. That's going to be U squared first. That's positive V squared at the end. And the middle term is negative VU and negative VU. That's negative 2 VU or UV. All right. So this right here matches this. So my U squared should match <clears throat> that term. And my V squared should match that term right there. All right, let's solve for each one. If u squared is 9x to the fourth, to, un to undo the square, you take the square root on both sides. <clears throat> square root of u squared is u. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of x to the fourth is x squared. V squared is y to the eighth. Undo the square, you take the square root. Square root of V squared is V. Square root of y to the eighth is y to the fourth. So this is my U. This is my V. So if I were to do U minus V squared, it's gonna be three X squared. And minus y to the fourth. And that whole thing is squared. Okay, I took this right here. I subbed in for u. And I subbed in for v. And this is the answer in factored form. The u and v will be the multiple choice, but this thing right here factors into that right there. All right, 3x squared, y to the fourth. And then down here, 3x squared minus y to the fourth. Whoops. Okay, only thing I forgot was to square it, okay? So I had it correct, I forgot the exponent, so just be careful. So this whole thing, if I hit shift six, this whole thing is squared. All right, so slight mistake there. I forgot the squared, that's all. All right, here's our expression. We have another one in the form of u plus v, u minus v. All right, so just like the first problem, u plus v times u minus v, there is no middle term on this. All right, u times u is u squared. V times negative V is negative V squared. The inner outer term drops out. So this matches this right here. So the U squared matches 16X to the fourth. And the V squared matches that. And the negative sign matches in the middle. All right, good to go. U squared is 16x to the fourth. Take the square root of both sides. U equals square root of 16 is 4. Square root of x to the fourth is x squared. 
v squared equals y minus 1 squared. All right, square root of v squared and square root of y minus 1 squared. That's going to be v. And y minus 1, that whole quantity is squared. You take the square root and it just removes the squared part. So that's your u and that's your v. You have to sub it in here. All right, u plus v is going to be 4x squared plus y minus 1. And u minus v, the u is 4x squared. And that's going to be minus v, which is y minus 1. All right, close parentheses twice. So you need to write it like this. You need to use parentheses on the negative part. You can use parentheses here if you want. But that changes nothing because it's just a plus sign. All right. Hopefully they don't make us distribute this negative and this will be the final answer. All right. 4x squared and y minus 1 right here. And then in the answer box, 4x squared plus y minus 1. And then 4x squared minus the quantity of y minus 1. Close parentheses twice. So it's minus parentheses y minus 1. Okay, so be careful. Let me see what happened here. Okay, so I was correct, except I did not distribute the negative. They want you to distribute the negative. All right, so we are going to do that right now. So this was correct. It's just not what they wanted, the form of. So it's going to be minus y and then minus negative 1, which is plus 1. All right, it's going to be minus y plus 1 instead of what I wrote. So I'm going to go back in the parentheses make it minus y and plus one. Okay, so you do have to distribute that negative. All right, so that was the only thing that was wrong there.